You can read the title, you can look at the thumbnail. We're going to be showing you guys the best settings for FC26 on the PC. But before we dive into that, before we dive into that, we have a word with today's sponsor, Hone GG. If you're struggling with frame rate and smooth gameplay for EEFC, well, I have the solution for you. Hone GG is a PC optimization tool made to fix all your issues for not just EAFC by the way but for any game you are playing on PC. With just one click of a button it can boost your FPS, cut down input lag and even fix your network issues. On screen right now you guys can see the FPS before using Hone and after using Hone. It's literally doubled. I would like to also mention there are several settings that you guys can configure and tweak on the application as you wish. And the best part of it all is that it is free so it won't cost you a thing i wouldn't be promoting this if i knew it wouldn't work trust me it really does make a difference to your pc performance you can literally see all the reviews on screen right now this is the real deal so if you're facing any of the issues that i mentioned be sure to download home gt today link is in the description now that's out the way there's 99.6 percent of you guys that are not subscribed to this channel you guys watch all my pc related news but you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button it helped me out a lot, it's free, and now let's jump straight into it. As you can see, we are on the menus of FC26, and honestly, the menus are very flipping smooth this year. I'll be honest, we're just going to dive into the settings, go to the game settings, and show you guys everything. We've got two options this time, which is amazing. Thank you, EA, for doing this. This is great stuff. We've got display and a good graphics, and there's also other settings which you haven't, you've missed. There's also other settings that you guys have missed when it comes to optimization for this year. So I'm going to dive into that all right now. So as you can see, there are now presets for FC26. Uh, we've got auto, low, medium, high, ultra. And if you want to customize, all you need to do is move one of these and it will turn into a custom, which in this case we will be doing. So as you can see also below me, there's CPU, GPU and VRAM. EA have essentially helped us understand what actually eats up our PC, which you can see here is on screen but some of these are actually really important so i highly recommend you guys listen to what i'm about to say first things first custom graf graphic preset for those who are wondering what each of them do it does if you want to go all out on ultra by all means do it i'm not going to stop you high go on high medium go on medium low if you want the lowest or lowest by all means do so and auto for those who actually have no idea what the hell they're doing just click on auto you should be good but what we're going to do in this case is show you guys my settings that I've been using for the last couple of hours on stream, on TikTok, on YouTube, and here we go. So rendering quality, I have put that to medium because it's the rendering quality of the game. As you can see, it sets the visual fidelity and lighting of objects such as players, models, textures, and stadiums. Higher settings will result into more details and more realistic lighting, potentially at the cost of your performance. I've kept it at medium because I want to make sure the game is actually looking good and not like a flipping potato on pixel because this year ea really cut down on the low settings like i mean it and it's i'm gonna have a video with you guys next week or so regarding that because honestly it looks like a potato compared to high and ultra it's ridiculous so i've kept it to medium at standpoint because i don't really care to be fair when it comes to like the quality of the game it's it's a football game i don't really care how people look and what it does as long as my response time and refresh rate is a okay it doesn't really matter to me so i've kept it to medium moving on to strand base hair i've kept it off uh you can see it eats up your gpu quite a lot i've kept it off because i have no hair i don't really care about hair moving around that's literally all it is that's literally all it is it moves your when you're playing on the pitch your hair moves the, all your players hair moves that's it that's literally it so i've kept it off moving to the grass quality i've i've kind of tweaked this to medium slash low because of the fact that yeah it's not really needed i don't really need it i don't really care about the detail of my um grass you'll understand later on with certain settings why i've kept this to low but yeah i've kept this to low but i'll be honest please if you guys like your eyes put it to medium high because this year's grass quality is very very dull on low so i 100 percent recommend you guys if you guys can improve your frames please eat it into your medium and high for grass moving on to the crowd quality as you can see it is low keep it to low doesn't really matter unless you got some insane tfos and all of that stuff stuff just keep it low you don't really need that extra stuff like to, to just eat up your fps and you can see it says it's moderate so you can keep it to medium high up to you but i've kept it to low i don't really care how the stadium looks to say so i've kept it to low because i want to make sure my frames are amazing 
Cloth quality, I've mixed between the high and medium for this. I personally just keep it to medium so that my CPU doesn't actually overheat and go crazy like it is right now because this game just loves to eat up your CPU and it still does. It's the same thing from last year to this year. Just a heads up. But yeah, I've kept it to medium to high this year because obviously your jersey is what makes your character like look good etc but i'll be honest it could you could also keep it to low because the more you keep it on the more it will be like one it'll eat up your cpu and two do you really care how your like shirt looks in game when it comes to moving i don't think so right so i yeah there you go now ambient edition i've kept it to medium to high that's because i like the actual scenes and how everything looks and just in general the way it feels you know I like to have those, you know, things where, you know, the details there, you know, so I keep it to medium to high. In this sense, I'm going to keep it to medium. And then the final thing, keep it off. Motion blur, not in the slightest needed. Don't need it. These are my settings for the best frames. Uh, but once again, you guys could use the presets and just determine on what your PC is more comfortable with. This is what my PC is. I want the more frames because I have a higher hertz monitor. Therefore, I've got these settings. These are the best settings that I use. I recommend you guys use these. If not, don't listen to me. Moving on to the display settings. As you can see, I have an ultra wide screen here. Uh, so make sure it's your actual main monitor, not your side monitor, like the one that's to my right. Moving on to this, make sure your game is on full screen. I don't care. No, no, you don't need to use it on full screen window. Who cares if you tab out every five seconds? Please make sure you use the utilizing your frames and utilizing your hurts the best possible way full screen is your best friend here i 100 percent mean it for those who are wondering uh, aspect ratio sort this out to what your actual monitor is so if it's 16 by 9 make sure it's 1080 by 720 uh 1920 by 1080 you know how it is you could even pl play 683 by 384 never seen that in my life 84 85 by 45 you could play with the maddest resolutions ever but obviously go by what your, your screen is. If you have a square monitor, 4x5, 4x3, uh, by all means do so. Uh, EA have really amplified this this year, which is amazing to see. I use obviously 21x9. 3440 times by 1440 is my resolution. Refresh rate, I have a 165 hertz monitor, but I still play on 144. I personally don't think I get the most amount of frames. So I therefore have this on unlimited, which is the frame rate limit and make sure I eat up and save as many frames as possible so I could play as smooth as possible with no delay, with no with, with smooth response time, with everything that you just need. For those who are obviously having higher refresh rate, by all means, keep it to that. Uh, same with 60, 90, and 100, 120, etc. Make sure you guys are hitting your frames. If you guys aren't hitting your frames, then there's an issue with your hertz. And that's where screen tearing comes in. That's where all these other issues uh, happen, where your game is trying to catch up with the frames and your hertz at the same time. And it could really mess up your thing. It could really, really mess up your, um, you know, game. All I'm going to say is that unlimited only works when V-Sync is off, which is my next point. Have this off. Not needed completely. Not needed this year at all. Unless you have a laptop that just struggles to run this game. Put it on and see what it does. Moving on to cutscene performance. I have full frame rate to make sure it's crisp as, as can be um that's how it is but if you guys are struggling make sure it's half render scale i have this 100 below 100 in, uh, decreases the image quality and above 100 increases the sharpness and everything in between but it does eat up your performance so keep it 100 don't go over don't go under dynamic resolution scale is on the reason why i have this on is because i want to make sure it matches up with my Frames. I want to make sure it matches up with my hertz of my monitor. So it's 165 as you can see. Uh, you could take a look and read for yourself on screen what it is, what it does, etc. But yeah, I have this at 165, so it makes sure it doesn't go over threshold of frames that I need to essentially play this game with. Moving on to the visual side, honestly, there's a lot of things that you guys need to remove on the visual side because there's a lot of things that can eat that are eating up your frames. So uh, let's keep scrolling. Let's keep scrolling. The first one is Hypermotion Insight Overlays. Turn this off. Eats up your frames like a mother trucker. So just turn it off. For the tactical side of things, um, I 100% recommend you guys switch off the skill moves rating, the player style plus icons, as well as the footedness icons. Like all these extra icons that you see at the bottom, you don't really need it. I'll be honest, not needed. Turn them off. They're just there on screen. 
you don't really need them right you're not going to look at who's got what foot and who's got what skill move right you're going to know off the top of your head who has what right there's no point in having these on screen i'll be honest moving on to indicators i have this as disabled and the second part is overhead player info i have the name on their pointer so when it's like ronaldo it will come up on their top of the head not on the side so because i've got such a wide screen i'm not going to keep looking down on who's going where and whatnot moving on to the next point and that's the play styles plus overhead indicators i have this as team only you could have this as both but it once again eats up your fps if you have both on just make sure it's team only so you could you know have as many frames as possible and then the final section which i'm going to go down the most important thing is accessibility section and player shadows you can have this on and off i have this off don't know why shadows are so important in this game and but i played them without not needed stadium shadows this is like the best friend this is your best friend here you can really you know eat up your frames plus it could eat up your lag a little bit plus the best part of all it can get very distracting so i have this off camera shake is on pov camera scenes is on and yeah that's everything and obviously the final one if obviously you still can't if you're still struggling with the extra frames have the main menu video off because you know it is the full motion video in the background on the menus uh that's just how it is that's just i don't know why it's not a bad thing that's on but you guys can keep it on etc i have it on because it's just a cool thing to have and now the final thing that you guys want to make sure you guys do is press apply so bottom left of your screen make sure you press apply and make sure you guys restart your game so that your settings can fully be fine i've seen a lot of people in my comments saying oh i put these settings in and it just reverts back to ultra settings you have not pressed the apply button please press the apply button that's been my settings video that's been my full guide on everything you guys need to turn off and on everything in between i will have an updated settings video eventually in like a month's time potentially two depends on what the tile updates are going to happen and optimization throughout the years throughout the years throughout the months and yeah it's been a border subscribe if you already check out home gg down below in the description i want it today take care and peace